What's up, YouTube? It's Mark, Next Level Tech, Android TV Tips, and today we got an interesting article to talk about from AFTV News. Now it seems like, seems like shots were fired at the YouTube community and the streaming community here, um, but. There's a reason as to why some of us, at least myself, I can only speak for myself, have talked about certain settings. There's a reason as to why we choose the settings for ourselves. And if you want to do exactly what we do, sure, but you should also be researching why we do some of the things. That we do. So this article today is actually an article from AFTV News. But before we dive into that, I wanna let you guys know that I will start making some more of the news videos again. Uh, that being said, if you're looking to support the content, there are a lot of different ways to do that. You can hit the thumbs up, the like and subscribe cost you absolutely nothing. There is an absolutely free Telegram link in the description below. It takes you to a free group with 2000 people in there that are always talking, chatting, answering questions, tips, tricks, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but beyond that, if you want to provide additional support, there is affiliated links in the description below. There's also the YouTube membership program that you can uh, do a monthly membership that helps support what we do here and the developments that we have going on behind the scenes, as well as there is a tips button um, right by the like button. You'll see if you scroll to the right or whatever it is, you'll see it down there that you can actually leave tips on videos that you find useful. Um, so all that being said, we're going to dive into the article right now. So we're going over to AFTV News and this article says you should turn on Fire TV data monitoring despite privacy concerns. And here's why. Now, before we dive into this article, I haven't even read this article yet, but I want to say I wasn't turning off this or privacy concerns at all. Um, there's another reason, but we'll keep going through it. While scrolling through the Fire TV settings, you may have come across a data monitoring option in the preferences menu that gave you privacy concerns. So you may have turned it off. Uh, you may have even seen one of the countless YouTube videos or articles on Fire TV tips telling you to make sure that data monitoring was off so that Amazon can track you. Now, I've never really made that correlation of them tracking you. There's another reason that I turn it off and I'll do that in a second. Well. They're all wrong data monitoring on your Fire TV or Fire TV Cube, and here's why. While the data usage monitoring option on Fire TV is located under settings, preferences, data usage monitoring might sound like it has something to do with Amazon tracking you. It does not. If you're concerned about Amazon tracking your Fire TV usage, then what you should turn off are these options, settings, preferences, privacy settings. In simple terms, if the option is labeled as data usage, it's not about your privacy, but if it's labeled as usage data, then it's about your privacy. So now that we've cleared that up, a little confusing, a little bit of a tongue twister. Why you should bother turning the OK data usage on is because knowledge is power. What data usage monitoring on Fire TV does is just track for your own personal information, meaning on your local device, it doesn't send the information, how much data of each of your apps is using. If you are on an internet plan with data caps or one with uh, data limits, then knowing how much data your Fire TV is using can certainly save you money. It can even alert you and cut off data access when you've come to a predetermined amount. So when you turn it on, then it'll show you your monthly top data usage by app. You can see all of that information there. However, if you have a limited unlimited data on your home internet plan, the data usage monitoring setting can potentially save you money. And that's because by tracking the apps that you use the most each month, you're essentially tracking which apps you use the most. Yeah, of course. So the, the apps that use the most data obviously is the ones that you're using the most and the ones that use the least amount of data means that you're not really using them. So if you're, you know, if you have apps or services that you have on there that you're paying for that you're not using, then get rid of them. Um, I've done countless numbers of videos and live streams where I talk about you don't always have to stay subscribed to these services. If you come to services um, that you're only watching, say, Stranger Things, then you don't need to be subscribed to Netflix for a whole year for that. Right. And there, if you if you kind of build out a spreadsheet of when things are going to be coming out um, on what platform, you can really budget your entertainment usage 
really efficiently, right? So I, I will mention the reason that I turn this off is one, I have unlimited bandwidth and I don't have a lot of paid subscriptions. I've never really cared about that. The other reason that I turn this off is because the Fire TV devices, especially the light devices, only come with one gigabyte of RAM. I try the best that I can to limit the amount of background processes that there are running on my device. With one gigabyte of RAM, it doesn't leave a whole lot of, of things going on. And then when I start to run things like VPNs or ad blockers or a bunch of other applications or if I'm using different launchers and stuff like that, it can affect how the device starts to run. Now, I'm not saying that this will make a huge difference because it most likely wouldn't, but it's just something that I just ingrained into myself when I'm setting up all the devices that I personally turn off for a little bit of peace of mind, I guess. But for the most part, it probably doesn't make that much of a difference and it wouldn't affect you. And as Elias says in this article, it is a good way to track how you use your device personally. So if you do choose to turn this on or if you choose to turn this off, it's a you. And if you do turn it on, there are some additional features that can help you with tracking what apps you use, how much data you use them, and that could equate to how much time you use them for, how much bandwidth, and if you're on a limited data plan, that can help you save money. And if you're on a limited streaming budget and you're looking to cancel certain subscriptions and maybe this device is in the main entertainment room where your whole family is using it, you can get a good snapshot as to if you canceled a subscription, would the family or the household replace it? So that's a little bit of an update on the data usage setting on the Fire TV devices and as to why I've been turning it off, but it's not a solution for everybody. This There is good information that can be found by turning it on and there's nothing wrong with leaving it on. Well, so again, guys, it's been Mark from Next Level Tech and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.